George, George, George of the jungle, strong as he can be. Watch out for that tree! George, George, George of the jungle, lives a life that's free. Watch out for that tree! When he gets in his crate, he makes his escape with the help of his friend, an ape named Ape, then away he'll schlep on his elephant Shep, Magnolia, and Ursula stay in step. George, George, George of the jungle, friend to you and me. Two desperate figures run for their lives, carrying with them the jungle's final and only hope. How did it come to this? No, seriously, I'd like to know. Can, can we do a flashback or something? Sweet. Thanks. Oh, potato fizzy legs. Got it. Just one more. <laughs> Dirty bacon hairbrush. That's enough for the day. We'll finish my jungle taste report tomorrow. Oh, all licking and no eating makes George hungry. Me too. Hmm. What to eat, what to eat, what to eat? Mystery berries. Meh, had for breakfast. Squash and beans? Had for lunch. Wounded zebra! That's a good friend! Hey, what's that convenient noise? Big deal. It's just a dumb banana tree. Ha! Forgive them! Don't you know how important bananas are to all ape kind? This film will show you the delicious world of bananas. Warning, you will get wet. From your own drool. <laughs> Seriously, though, pay attention. Bananas, our most precious resource and our yummiest friend, bananas. Like apes, no two bananas are the same. Bananas were first discovered at the sacred banana mating ground. Let's explore the three reasons we must protect these wonderful yellow mouth ticklers. Reason one, bananas are delicious. Eat them for breakfast, lunch, dinner, midnight snack. Brunch, 11 Z's, tea time, supper, dejeuner, hypoglycemic snacks, regular snacks, post snack, snack, snacks, pre dinner, post lunch, pre snack, snack, post lunch. The second reason bananas are our most precious resource they're not just for eating. You can use bananas as antiperspirant. Distress beacons. Loyal and fun pets. Nothing says I love you like a banana. And the third reason bananas are so important, they're just so darn banana-y. <laughs> Every time. We never knew. That banana's so amazing. It's bananas! Glad you finally understand what bananas mean to us apes. Mmm, hint of feet. Maybe we should try it with more bananas. Hmm. I call it the thought doer. What George thought doing right now? <laughs> You're taking things a little far. Now me! <laughs> Sky bananas taste even better than normal bananas! You're just wasting them now. Bananas can run out, you know. Ape, I'm a scientist. Natural resources can't run out. It's impossible. Uh, uh, what happened? <laughs>
I think we ate too many bananas. <gasps> Just bones left. <sighs> <gasps> what have you done? You used up all the bananas? All except for two? Oh, man, did we? But no biggie. There's other stuff to eat. You don't understand. It begins. All bananium found in every banana are ancient monster genes. Take control. Just slowly and quietly. Only one solution. You must. Oh no. Uh, it's okay. Run. Run for your lives. <laughs> must fix ape and save jungle. But there's only two bananas left. Okay, think, think, think. What do we do? Hmm. Yes? How ants remember all other ants' names? Whoa, George would be terrible ant. Uh, wait, what question? Okay, okay, is there another source of bananium? Hmm, maybe oranges? Those are full of orangium. Uh, it's totally different. What if we disguise the bananas as us and us as the bananas? Yes, then apes chase bananas and eat us instead. It's not gonna work. If we get more bananas, apes turn all huggable and not be fighty anymore. But how? Do I look like a banana magician? Like I do banana magic? Ooh, abracadabra! Spell no work. You terrible banana magician. I've got it! We'll use science to save the bananas from extinction and rescue Abe in the jungle to the sacred banana mating ground! So, George and Magnolia carry the jungle's last chance for survival to the sacred banana mating ground. George. Okay, bananas, make banana babies. Go! Try moving them closer. Duh, of course. We can't do it if we watch. <laughs> Double duh, this will never work unless we set the mood. Much better. Wait, George, forget something. In case Santa hungry after deliver banana babies. George, Santa doesn't ex Um, doesn't love anything more than cookies. Hurry, make more nanas. You two want to play hardball? We can play hardball. Fire, George! Lightning always makes stuff work. <laughs> Roasty bananas. George, hold up eight monsters. Magnolia save bananas, okay? Hmm. George need to look good for final sacrifice. What are you doing? Uh, uh. Ah! This is all because we wasted precious natural resources! Me sorry, eat too many bananas! <laughs> and now you've learned your lesson. Oh, oh, oh wait. Uh, uh, hold on, I've got this. Uh, right, lesson learned. What? 
Apes not monster? <laughs> Get out! You pretended you were killer apes to prove a point? Did you really think we'd let you eat all our bananas? We saw you were getting greedy. So we held an emergency meeting to figure out what to do. We came up with a few schemes to stop you. Some thought we should cut you off immediately. But then we had a better idea. We implemented Operation Save All the Delicious Yummy Bananas from the Bad Bad People so we can eat them ourselves. Apes are terrible with code names. So you tore up an entire jungle to make a point about preserving part of the jungle? Sure, it sounds bad when you say it that way, but we had to be convincing. They were eating all our bananas. Come on, our bananas. <laughs> okay, yes, we learned our lesson. But you were the real monsters here. Come on, George, let's go. There's a whole jungle of things still to taste. George, no want taste yucky jungle things. George, stay here and lick this slug. <laughs> 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 mm. What? It's a good idea. Nature. It's soothing, beautiful, even smells pretty nice. But beneath all that fancy business, there's power. A thunderous waterfall can wear down solid rock. Powerful winds can bend the mightiest trees. The fury of lava can scorch the landscape and heat water so ducks can have a nice warm bath. Did I mention the wind? What I'm trying to say is, nothing can stop nature. Something stopping nature. That's overly dramatic, but also correct. Big Little River is down to a trickle. It's an ecological disaster. George, fix! Clear liquid plug up river. That's the water, George. <laughs> no time for jokes, eh? George, let me explain. River made of water? Same as lakes? Yes, and rain, and ice, even snow. They're all water. Stop! They make George dizzy. Oh, I wow. think we found the problem. <gasps> Those guys make log house. House stop water. Mystery solved. New mystery. Who are those guys? They're beavers. They're an invasive species. What? An invasive species is an animal that doesn't belong here. It all starts way up here in Canada, where, otherwise known as Castor Canadensis, beavers are not normally found in tropical climates. Responsible for the invention of the telephone and the handheld blender, beavers are nothing if not inventive. And that's where we get artificial strawberry flavor from. So you have to get rid of them before they ruin the jungle forever. Hey. Georgia Wick, totally listen to science talk. Get rid of beavers right now. <laughs> Me, George, king of jungle. You beavers have king, queen, maybe super beaver? What are you, squirrels? Get back to work! Name's three tooth. Huh? Beavers got two teeth that stick out. Okay. I got three. So that's my name. And why I'm in charge. Oh, it's a system. What do you want? George, welcome you to jungle. Now leave jungle. Log house, stop river. Make big puddle on other side. Flood monkey baseball field. Beavers must go. No belonging jungle. Not natural. <laughs> Not natural? Take a look at the mirror, bub. You're human. You don't belong in a jungle neither. George. Human? Reality can take many forms. A sunbeam, a bolt of lightning, or a giant hammer that clobbers you in the jaw. That's just a metaphor, of course. What did you think you were? George think he was... a uh, George. Kinda like ape, sloth, lemur, banana thing. And one day, Lady George show up. And George and Lady George make baby George. Then we all return to home planet. You know what's funny? Until this very moment, I thought I knew what crazy was. 
ape know George Human? Well, of course I did. And you kept it a secret? It wasn't a secret. He has thumbs and everything. <laughs> After I found you in the orphan storm, we knew right away that you were human. And that your diaper smelled really bad. At first, you tried to be an ape. That didn't work out. Neither did being a bird. But soon you found your own identity and became king of the jungle. And the jungle needs its king to stop those beavers. But George, human now. If beavers no belong in jungle, neither does human George. Ha! Are you kidding? We humans go wherever we want, do whatever we want, take whatever we want. We rule the planet! See? What you gonna do, huh? Cry? Cry like a big, sad, crying ape? Huh? Huh? Stop! Stop, stop it! I'll put you in the circus! Leave me alone! Magnolia's annoying, but also right. You just need to discover what it means to be human. Then you'll understand why you belong here as king of the jungle. But how George learned to be human, ape? How? If only we knew a human who could teach you. Hmm? Forget it! I'm not... Now, you two, be human. Okay, first thing you gotta learn, George, is that we humans are crazy smart. We think. Animals just do stuff or whatever. See? I'd never do that, because I use my brain. Ah, here's a perfect example. I'm thinking what that crocodile could want. Hmm. Fum. It probably just wants a kiss or something, so I think it's harmless. Ta-da! Uh... And we humans are never wrong. <laughs> ah! I'm wrong! I'm so wrong! Help me, George! Ah! <laughs> Thanks for that. You throw a good crocodile. <laughs> The witch doctor is human. At least I think he is. Maybe he can help. Pressure! gone, shark that blew. I have banished the evil shark from your lawn. Ahem. Mm -mm. Elephants make the best BLTs in the jungle. Shark monkey fin? What? Let Abernathy go. <laughs> yeah, well, next time, don't miss your cue. Oh, phew. Hey, elephants! It's okay! No shark! Just weird monkey! I tricked them. But why humans trick animals? Duh, for a bag of sandwiches. You did the right thing, George. Cheer up! Look, I'm the shark monkey! Wait, I'm not. It's a hat! It's just a hat! Ah! There's only one more human who might be able to help. Ah! Hey, George scared. Desperate times call for desperate... Ah! Wait, we need your help. George not know how to be human. Ah! Ursula teach George? <laughs> Only one thing you need to know. This was a terrible idea. Hey. Being human means being scary. All animal afraid of Ursula. Ape! Wake up, Ape! Ape! Good. Now Ursula can scare him again later. <laughs> I saw the other side. Okay. If George have to be human, then human have George to be. What? <laughs> this is beaver country now. Hey, beaver teeth! George know himself now. Beavers in big human trouble. Oh, really? And what are you gonna do, human? George use human thinky brain. <laughs> I ain't got all day, bub. Huh? Okay. Then George use human tricky trick. Look, 
big monster behind you! Mm, nah, fine. Then George, use human scary face. Use your what? <laughs> like I said before, humans don't belong in the jungle. And you are one terrible human. Beaver, right. George, no good at thinking, no good being tricky, no good being scary. George, bad human. You saved Magnolia, stopped the witch doctor from lying, and brought me back from the afterlife. You may be a terrible human, but you're a great George. And this is where you belong. <laughs> Don't feel bad you're lost. We chewed out trees and build awesome stuff. It's our thing. Chew trees? Yeah, <laughs> those logs. Buddy, logs are trees. Logs are trees? George bashed into trees all the time. Human George can't get rid of beavers, but George George can bash down log tree piles. How? There aren't any trees left to swing from. There be one. The tallest tree of all. Tree known to ages as Tim. What's he doing? He's being himself. He's being George. Which one of you jokers left the tallest tree in the jungle? Huh? Ah, figures. that his nature was not a human nature. It was his own. Talky Sky Boy's right. George, lousy human. But George, good George. And all it took was the jungle to be clear-cut and flooded. Maybe you wrecked a dam, but you made an enemy. An enemy with three teeth! You can be George enemy. You can be whatever you want. jungle is a battle between life and death, survival and extinction, and between George and Ursula. Ah, that better. Monkeys, get along, okay? No! Monkeys, fight! Now! <laughs> George won't be good king and help jungle, but Ursula no let George. You must understand, George. Ursula believes that Mother Nature's way is the only way. Anything that interferes with nature is wrong. Would you put some sunscreen on my back? No! Bye! That natural. Good work, George. 
Ursula set river free! No, Ursula, wait! Ursula destroyed them! And Ursula destroyed baby Slosh Valley! Ah! George tired of you making George's job big joke. <laughs> George's job is joke. Not funny. George challenged Ursula to sacred jungle battle. George, think about this. You've met Ursula, right? George, no. First one who look away, lose. No, George, that's a staring contest. Paper beats rock? That's rock, paper, scissors. Ursula counts to ten. George go hide behind tree. Hide and go seek. George hit Ursula and run away. Tag. George tells Ursula, go fish. That's go fish, George. Three X's in row. Tic-tac-toe. Wait, George got it. Patty cake. Okay, how about George clap, then Ursula. And so is that. It sure. Now we fight! What? Wait! May I suggest oh, a jungle vote? Oh, instead, oh, jungle vote! Oh, jungle vote! The Sacred Jungle Vote, where important decisions are made by the will of the jungle. Time to count the votes. You're not allowed to vote for yourself, Ursula. The will of the jungle has spoken. George wins. Now, Ursula? Ah, Ursula know when she not wanted. Wow, Ursula know how to make exit. This can only mean one thing. She's gone to the dark heart of the jungle forever. It also means George free to help animals. Animals want much help today. George think baby animals want too much help. Yes, yes, without Ursula around, life in the jungle has certainly lost its edge. Can I ask you for a mani-pedi, or would that be weird? Ooh, yeah. Awkward. But George and Ape aren't the only ones who notice the jungle going from wild to mild. <laughs> Good catch, Tiger. Did you use your sleeper hold? Of course I did. Except I didn't, because this lazy rug was just lying there. Where's your fight gone, pussycat? Come on, bite me so I can show you what kind of a man I am. Savage me! Ah, this jungle's gone soft. Soft like that expensive toilet paper you insist on using. What's the use of hunting if you don't spend every moment staring savage death in its fiery eye? Oh, yes, I would agree completely, but people would pay big bucks to get this close to a lion. Hmm. Cash money, you mean? I do like its feel, its crinkly musk, the way it tucks into a waistband. Step right up and enter the world's first completely safe cageless zoo, where even Namby Pambies can take a pillow soft trip into the cushy heart of the jungle. Jungle get weak and lazy. Boulder Dash, we're as ferocious as ever. Maybe you have a point. George must show Jungle tough love. George make Jungle strong again. And when me say George, me mean Ursula. 
The journey to the dark heart of the jungle is perilous indeed. George must overcome many dangers to find Ursula. The river of bats, the banana peel road, the itchy nostril caves. Yep, this look like place. George traveled much distance to see Ursula. <laughs> Ursula, right? George helped too much. Animals go weak. Must make animals wild again. <laughs> George, need Ursula help! Ah! Oh. Jungle animals need Ursula help? Ah! If Ursula come back, she get to beat up George every day. Fun, right? Wait, George realized jungle need George and Ursula. And George, sorry. Whip jungle into shape. Oh, I just had the worst dream. Oh, I dreamt I had my final math exam, but I wasn't wearing any. You soft. All right, you soft talent, dull toothed, devenomed weaklings. Those fleshy pink things are people. And they taste amazing. People were put in this jungle to be eaten by you and you. Yes, and even you. Tonight, Ursula, we teach you to be wild. Tonight, jungle, get hair back on chest and on arms, on legs, and everywhere else for that matter. Go team Mother Nature. No! No, you ketchup! Like this! George messed Jungle up! George just won help! One chance left! Call of Wild! If anything could remind the animals that they were, well, animals, it was Ursula's Call of the Wild. Jungle Wild. But next time, maybe Ursula open with Howl, so we avoid montage. Now, George rescue tourists. Okay, tourists learn to rescue selves without George. It's beyond savage. Hold on, it. George, help! Something is not count. <laughs> the jungle, home to nature's most dangerous game. No, not ping pong, survival. Survival of the fittest. This lion has razor sharp claws. 
This zebra has a fluffy tail. This lion is a merciless master of the hunt. This zebra is a... Okay, look, the zebra is pretty much lunch. Oh, here comes the good part. And what now, George? You can't carry that zebra around forever. Ape, no worry. George have idea to keep zebra safe. There, see? George smart like ape. And what about all of them? I no get zebras now. George, you can't just stuff zebras in a cave. Ape, right. Now, all animals safe. George, you really think that... Shh. George, no a proud of George. This is so annoying. What is it I forgot to do today? Create artificial life? Hecutron wants to live. No. Enslave all octopuses? No, nah, I changed my mind about that. They give me the willies. <laughs> ah, I guess it wasn't that important. Oh, oh, Mom's birthday is today? Oh my gosh, oh my gosh! I'm hyperventilating. I need a present. Stat! Just think, Chicago. Think, or you're dead! Metric tons of flowers and a few hundred uh, thousand stuffed animals should mean I'm safe for another year. Just add in same day shipping and. How much? I don't have that kind of bank! A gift you make yourself is worth more than anything you could buy. I'll get the glue and macaroni. You don't understand! My mother is. Let's just say you only ever forget her birthday once. How am I going to get that kind of cash? Who knew stuffed animals were so expensive? I've got it! No, everyone isn't just invisible. Something's happened to all the jungle animals. Hmm, suspicious, don't you think? No, no, I suppose you don't. Okay, George, what's the plan? Dr. Chicago's a wily fellow. We can't just run in there and... Hey, Doctor, no do bad stuff, okay? Huh? Huh? Oh, hello, George. Sure, I'll stop the bad stuff. But you didn't say anything about bad stuffing. Cuspid! Yes? What's up? Blast him! George! What, Ape? George busy! George? George! No need, Al. George right here! What? How? Why? <laughs> if you had a mother like mine, you'd transform all the jungle animals into stuffed versions and sell them online, too! George, stop you! Oh, that's adorable. <laughs> This has got to be the cutest thing I've ever seen! From a purely scientific standpoint, of course. Hey, put George down! George not toy or dope! <laughs> <laughs> that funniest thing huh? Ursula ever see! <laughs> hey, George still king! George still strong! See? Aww. Ursula, Magnolia, please, we need your help to stop Dr. Chicago. Now, George, this time we can just... Hey, Doctor, now really no do bad stuff. <laughs> wow, I didn't think you'd just try the same thing again. No, George, I mean, really, does he ever stop and think? Well, he'll 
have lots of time to think on his way to Japan! Japan? <laughs> Now, ha! if I did, how would you help me ship all these animals? And then I wouldn't make my money, and my mother wouldn't get her birthday gifts, and she'd launch the... Look! Just get to the shipping! We'll never help you! Airmail the Crown Freight. Me, George! Me have to get back to jungle! <laughs> <laughs> All right. Hey! That looked like... <laughs> okay, George. Now you have time to make big things and stop Dr. Chicago. Okay, Brain? Go! Hello, Brain? George, say go! Report! <sighs> That's the last of the rhinos. And the only giraffes left are the weird ones. <gasps> hey, stop! It's not snack time! <laughs> Stuffy animals taste bad! <laughs> <sighs> okay, people, time to raid the D-list. Eight, nine, ten. Who buys stuffed rocks? And who buys ten of them? Meanwhile, for the first time in his life, George thinks. It's not like he's got anything else to do. George needs smart plan to save friends and jungle. Of course you say that, George. You nothing but talk, talk, talk. <laughs> Don't make George kick you out of box, George. <laughs> And there! George, you do it again! For first time! Ah, thanks, George! You smart thinker, too! What? Why are you stopping? That's it! Kaput! Done! You've shipped every animal, every bug, every rock! No, oh, that's too bad. Your mom's gonna be so mad you forgot her birthday. And you got so close. You're like three stuffed animals short. <laughs> How many? Are you dumb? I said. Oh, I'm the dumb one. What? Our first return? Huh. Oh, that tickled unexpectedly. Good news, George back. <laughs> George, think of playing this time. George, draw it in box. Uh, what was I really expecting? Plan step one, defeat Doctor. Get away from that, Cuspid! Hey, George, no finish playing inside here. Get out! Get out! Get out! Oh, George, have bones again! And just like George, all over the world, the stuff-informed animals returned to normal. And then were returned to sender for a full refund. Animals back normal? Somehow destroying the ray guns reversed its effects because that makes sense. Nice thinking, George. Plan step two. Everyone, high five. Oh, no. Oh, no, no, no! I missed it! I missed Mom's birthday! 
We should probably... Cuspid! Activate anti mom protocols Alpha through Epsilon! Turn out the lights! Turn on the lasers! Oh no! It's already too late! So, George, now that you're a big thinker, what do you think you're going to do next? Oh, George, give brain break. All this think stuff give George big headache. George not want break brain. George? 